Yippee ki yay! What the heck? What? I thought you were gonna do. Woo! You don't. Woo! 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 Yippee ki yay! I, I would have done that if this was the original speed. Mm. This is more on par with like. Die Hard 5. Well, it's a little more competent than that. I didn't think it was that bad. I've worked on a cruise ship, so yeah. Okay, okay. I, I should take that back. Okay, it's not as bad as Die Hard 5. I'm pretty sure this director can count to 5 without looking at his fingers. Hmm, probably. The other one couldn't count to uh. Okay, whatever. Let's get a move on. You're going to tell me what movie we saw? Do we have the cover? Speed to cruise control. Woohoo! Now you might remember that a while ago I did review speed and Yep, I got the Blu-ray. Yep. And as you know, it is part of our Die Hard ripoff annual event. Yep. Um Sandra Bullock returns. Yep. And this movie has... It's like I'm head chopped off. This movie, it's... It feels like it wants to be speed, but it has but about... It's second place, speed two. <laughs> it's like all they knew... It's like... It's like the writers didn't even see the first speed, and all they knew was that Sandra Bullock was in the movie, and it was like Die Hard. Apart from that, there is almost, there is very little, if anything, in this movie that even resembles speed. Well, the ship went pretty fast. But in speed, it had to maintain an average speed. Yep. In this, it's just out of control. Yep, somebody took over the ship, the electrical and every computer in the ship. So what it starts out, it's kind of funny how it starts out. Thank you, Tim Conway. Sandra Bullock was taking a driver's test. And Tim Conway, I'll be back in one second. Tim Conway was the like auditor or whatever that would approve her. Um, to was pass. the driving instructor. No, he was critiquing her. She failed. The driving test and she was wearing glasses and... and she's like oh yeah my glasses i have to get used to these and you know she's not nah. really watching no, the road she... and then he says merge he says merge slowly and she goes ah! and then at the end of the and then they and he keeps they run her, in he keeps telling her to pull over but there was no place to pull over they on run... the road and then there there was road no the cops were telling her to pull over not him no he was so were the cops behind her? Well, because there were there were flashing red lights and sirens, so and, she needed to pull over, but there was road construction and, then, and no place to pull over. <laughs> and then okay. she finally stops <laughs> right in front of Jason Patrick, who is her boyfriend. I don't remember his name. All I know is that he works for LAPD. The... Anyway, Jason Patrick. <laughs> so she looks at the test. So... He says to her, he pulls up the test pass? and it's just like one giant X. And she said, I had a little trouble. <laughs> she didn't know that he was like LAPD SWAT. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should I bring somebody over? Why? Keep talking. Oh, sorry. I was watching you. So he, it was going to be their seventh month anniversary. So they go on a cruise. So he was presenting her with the cruise and she's like, no, no, yeah, yeah, okay. And then she gets in there, excuse me. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm going season, to, sorry. I'm going, I want to interrupt for a second. Go ahead. The main prob one of the main problems I have with this movie is that oh who's that guy Jason Patrick I, I'm sorry he's that forgettable to me and Sandra Bullock have this much chemistry Ooh. 
like they do not work together at all. I didn't think they were bad. They're not bad, but I just didn't see them as a couple. I didn't see them looking like they were... Sandra Bullock, I'll say, was trying Jason Patrick. No, it's... she was being like her usual role, like in Miss Congeniality, like all, ha, 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 nothing serious. And speed. But in this movie, it's like the director, ex it's like the director <clears throat> told Jason Patrick, you're the villain. So he's like, so like, uh, do a, say something, say like a silly line or something. Wow, wasn't that funny? Yes, it was. No, he wasn't like that. Come on, get off it. No, no, no. no. Yeah, he was. Okay, come on. Let's have I fun. I, I love you. He wanted to propose to her, and she was like, like, no, you're not gonna, or, you know, whatever. You're not it's serious. Like, or... I don't even think he smiled at her that often in the movie. <clears throat> well... The first night on the cruise, he got sick. They had to he leave. Did? Yeah, he was throwing up in the champagne bucket. I don't remember that part. Yeah. Whatever. And she enjoyed taking care of him. But when she woke up in the morning, he was out skeet shooting. Oh, <clears throat> th okay, that I remember. Um, And then there's the villain. Is it really a twist if you know the villain f ten minutes in? He asked, where are my golf clubs? Hmm, let's see. There are three people in this movie. Who is the villain? Is it Sandra Bullock? Is it Jason Patrick? Or is it William Defoe? Ding, 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 ding. Yep. Who kind of looks like, kind of talks like this. <clears throat> well, he was sick. Like he's... Like he, like he wanted to be, uh, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey's Edward Enigma in Batman Forever. Mm, whatever. With like the long, with like the long blonde hair and. Well, it was shoulder length. <clears throat> and then there's a scene where his eyes like turn really blue. But yeah, um, something... He played the character pretty good, though. Yes, he was a villain. <laughs> he plays a lot of villains, doesn't he? Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. I just hit my toe again. Um, then when something happens... When something happens with the boat where... The ship. It's the a ship. It's a cruise ship. There Tomato are... banana! There anyway. Are, there are lifeboats... On the cruise ship. It is a ship, not a boat. You see, folks, the, I want one of them to always be in a room or in a cage, so that way this doesn't happen. But Kay constantly wants this to happen, apparently. So anyway, there's another... There, during the evacuation of the cruise ship... Um, there's something that happens which I really, it's a really big pet peeve of mine regarding action movies. Okay, first of all, it takes place at night. Can you imagine this review if this happened? Okay, bad example. Okay, can you imagine the review like this? Okay, come on, come on, you have to do, you have to do this, come on, come on, we have to, we have to go around, come on, come on, come on, okay, okay, come on, do you, do you know what, do you know what I'm doing? You see? So that's, so that's one thing that I don't like, I'm, I don't like that in action movies. I see action movies because I want to see action. I don't want it to be taking place at night. The original speed took place during the day, so you could see everything. Big bus was during the day. The River's Wild was during the day. Why couldn't this also take place during the day? And I don't, I know, uh -huh, whatever. Uh -huh. Also, another problem is that during this same evacuation scene, it's raining. Uh-huh. So now you've got, so now it takes place almost completely in the dark. <sighs> and now with rain, so it's now even harder to see. Well, because the ship was losing power. He was shutting down the engines. 
He shut down all the steam. I would have had this be done during the day. Well, they ended up during the day. Can I finish? I mean, with when my... it goes into St. Martin and tries and then... to dock, which is not the easiest. Wow, you're to spoiling. Do. And then the third thing, and then the third thing is that. Okay, it is because it is scientifically accurate, but whatever. <laughs> there's also fog. So there's when there's so, rain on the Caribbean water. I don't care. It's warm. I don't fog. Oh I I don't care. <laughs> I don't whatever. I don't care. So between the between it taking place at night, between well, because it, it was the captain's dinner, everybody was dressed up. Between the rain and the fog. Well, you're not letting me finish. Between those three happening at the same time, it's like, I give up at this point. This movie doesn't want me to see what's going on. You could see. Sandra Bullock kept taking the hair out of her eyes. She could see. Well, the big thing is that Maybe. she didn't know her boyfriend was like a police officer. She found that out eventually. Now we're on the cruise ship. Yeah. You couldn't tell with my evacuation Well, part. because now he wants to help, and she's like, don't get involved, don't get involved. And then he gets involved, and then she gets involved with the chainsaw and everything That's else. actually a pretty good scene. Turn off the chainsaw, maybe we can come out. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, She's a tough broad in this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, one second. There so is, William Defoe, there's did you one... ever get to why he did why he was taking over the health care? No, he was the part of the brains of the company that created the computer system to run a cruise ship. And when he got sick, they let him go. They fired him. So he had no more health benefits. So what was his body producing copper or something? I think it it was yeah it was copper. And he had to use leeches to clean his blood or something. Blood. You loved that scene, didn't you? No, I didn't. Um, kind of closed my eyes. Oh, I had to tell her when it was okay. Fortunately, there's only one scene where he puts leeches on himself. Yep. Otherwise, the leeches were in the bath. <laughs> that was less gross. Yeah. Um. Did you tell him about the room start? I had do not disturb. It said... Do you want to do this review by yourself? No, just keep going. There's there's some funny parts in it. You're going... Was, you're jumping all tired. around and you spoiled the move... And you spoiled the ending of the movie. I didn't spoil the ending. Where they tried the to island. dock. They tried to dock at St. Martin. Yeah. That's kind of spoiled it. No, that's not spoiling it. That was the end of the movie! <laughs> uh, <laughs> My allergies. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, the weather is like bleh. um, a lot of mold count and dry. And, it's not oh. like if it's not like spoiling Madagascar two by saying they arrive in Africa. Okay, where are you in your explanation? I was getting into one of the things that I did like, and oh, then I was going to get okay. into yeah, yeah, yeah. some movie facts about the movie. Yeah. Oh. Um. There's a, can I say the D word? A diamond? No. Huh. Yeah. Okay, there's a deaf girl. Mm-hmm. And. She played pretty good. She, I was more interested in her, her point of view than Jason Patrick, <laughs> but maybe that's because I'm not a. a but he could sign to He does, Yeah. But something that annoys me is that I apologize, people. But when they're do when they're doing like sign language, mm -hmm. there's no there's no subtitles at the bottom of the screen, so you have no idea what they're saying. Especially when it's like he was just that would nice. be when you're doing because why do you think I did this and then point to I know. The girl wanted to know who the lady was that was with him. And there if was... it was his sister. <laughs> um, there is there are some jokes in this movie like um a guy who likes to take pictures. <laughs> the ship photographer. And then <laughs> he kept taking 
motion pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's a, need a cough drop. and then there's this guy who's on the, who's one of the like, what would they be? The chain of command or the naval mm -hmm. people or? No, the deck. The, the deck um, people, the deck person. No, 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 no. The deck people are the people that wash down the deck at night while the people then are who, in bed. They're on the bridge. They're the navigation team and stuff. There's some person <laughs> in charge who has a He's, Scottish accent, and all I kept thinking of was Scotty from Star Trek. Oi, Captain, we can't turn the ship around any farther. Okay, he wasn't an engineer. He wasn't second in command. He was just a navigator. I don't know how to turn it around. I don't. Yeah, I can't do a Scottish accent. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, maybe if this movie had been around, maybe. I was thinking maybe the movie could have been more interesting at, to me if instead of Jason Patrick being the John McClane role, if they had that deaf girl as the mm. John McClane role. Or Jason Statham. In 97 when this came out? <clears throat> I don't know. I was thinking like, okay, who in Cutthroat Island said no? Liam Neeson, Ralph Fiennes, uh, Charlie Sheen in the role? Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe that, that would have been a little interesting. Oh, but Matthew McConaughey was considered for that role, and I think, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What is his famous? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> he wouldn't, there would not have been a place for him to say that. He doesn't say that in all his movies. No, oh, it just seems like it. He didn't say it in... Uh, <sighs> Mississippi Burning. I don't know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4 he or 3? Yeah. Okay, let's get back to the point here. He's from Texas. Let's, it's kind of default. Come on, let's get back. You wanted to give some points about the movie, so um, let's get her done. A majority of the cast, well, at least the main two, did not like the movie. Sandra Bullock said she, I think she got paid like $12 million or so. Wow. But she said that I think she said she only did that so she could fund her passion project, Hope Floats. Uh. And Jason Patrick also hated the movie and said, like, man, I want a script rewrite. And then they said, okay, we'll mm -hmm. rewrite it. No, we won't. Hmm. And uh, he said he only did the movie to, I think he got paid like $11 million or something. Wow. To fund uh, his passion, his pet project, your friends and neighbors, <clears throat> from Neil the Butte, and I don't know that the one. original plan, the original plan for this movie, for Speed Two was it was about a plane in the Andes, and or or the Himalayas, and it said like if the plane went below ten thousand feet, it would explode. Okay, so it could never land. And then when it runs out of gas, yeah. it would crash. <clears throat> Speaking of which, um, if you're more, uh, something about William Defoe, holy cow, this review is going long. Uh, William Defoe, I am not a fan. I don't like it. I don't like what happened at the end of this movie involving his character. That's a pet peeve of mine. And you just want everyone brought to justice. Yeah, and that didn't really happen. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Um, and then you kept saying, you kept saying like, oh, they're gonna be, they're, you can't do this. It's gonna ruin the, it's gonna ruin the ship. And it's like, the ship's already ruined. Um, <clears throat> in case you're wondering, the deaf kid survives as they should. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would have liked she to have seen. She was stuck in the elevator. So mm -hmm. she had guts climbing out of that elevator. Whoa. This is the... This is the third elevator movie, third movie involving an elevator that we've reviewed on this channel that I can remember. There was um, Marlon Wayne's Naked, then there was 100 Girls, and now this. Oh, well, out of how many movies we've reviewed and you've watched and i Close I've to watched, 200. That's not many. Okay, let's wrap it up. Got it?
it's a it's I a rental. It, I didn't think it was that bad, you know, if you could get it free from your library or it's a rental, but it maybe it, is it on Netflix? Tubi or Netflix I or don't know. Hulu. You or... finally said that name correctly. I know, aren't you happy? Um <clears throat> I would say rent it, but okay. As a standalone movie, it would probably have been okay as a sequel to Speed. It is vastly inferior. You can yeah. tell that from the fact that this movie has different writers, even though it has the same director. Yep. Okay. I don't think it was that bad. It gave me a couple good laughs, but I was but tired and I laugh when I'm tired. So. But it's but it's okay, people. <laughs> but it's okay, people. A lot of people because are the it's okay, people, because the writer of this continue doing work on your favorite movies like Pirates of the Caribbean Five and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull with Shia LaBeouf. Hey, he kept, <laughs> he kept working. He made a little bit of money. So. The director did the Haunting remake, which got a nomination for Worst Picture, but okay. I mean, Steven Spielberg could burp and he'd get a nomination for Worst Picture. So it's like, who cares? Okay, well, we're going to sign And he off. did the sequel to Tomb Raider. Okay, do you want any clue for the next one? Join us next time when... I said at the beginning of the year there wouldn't be themed months, but there are going to be themed weeks. Join us next mm. time for theme for animation week in August, where uh, All right. I don't know what should we review. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of one. Yeah. Oh well. Your head's gonna get tired. Oh well. Let's wobble with our wibble and watch and and try again. Bye. Okay. Bye bye.